Well, here come the two teams at the Academy Stadium. New York City FC taking on Bromby, as I mentioned, their fourth in their domestic league at the moment. A club based just outside Copenhagen in Denmark. Well, we have, of course, the captain for New York City, David Veer, who scored the first goal in the 2-0 victory over St Mirren. Such a key player, of course, he will be this season. And one of New York City FC's designated players uh, for the new season. We're on to way at the Academy Stadium. Our referee today, by the way, is Kevin Wright. And I'm sure you know this, but New York City in the dark strip here and Bromby in their familiar yellow and navy. There are some travelling Bromby fans as well who are here to see how their team is getting on at the moment. They're probably out of the title running domestically this season, but they'll certainly challenge for European football. They're just outside those spots at the moment. So this will be a very good test today um, for the MLS side. Indeed, yeah. As I said before, there are uh, plenty of variety in pre-season, which I think is important. You know, it's I mean, pre-season notoriously hard work, but uh, the more uh, variety you can bring into it, Absolutely. the better. It keeps the players enthusiastic. There was a wonderful bit of skill there from David Villa, and it was him who knocked it into Grabovoy, and it's a free kick for New York City FC. Two players over this, of course, and there's Mendoza and David Villa. Strange that Villa's there then. If, uh, if he was having a direct shot, you'd imagine Villa to be in the box ready for a rebound, but he has oh, It's in for Mendoza! Oh, wow. Just over the top of the bar, and he's strike. got a free kick on him. What a strike that was. That must have been 40 yards. 35 at least. Well, it had the power, and it almost had the direction, just over the top of the crossbar. It was dipping, it was one of those, almost where they catch it on the valve and it goes down. Not bad for a centre-back. Really good tackle from Williams again. He's not afraid of a challenge. It's in with Velasquez and now it's in with the man with Mix on the back of his shirt, but under pressure. He's lost it. Hassani. It's a El Manta, it's lovely football. Bromby might score it. It has oh. crept over the line. Just about steered in at the back post. Johan El Manta, key in the build-up. It might be Onskoff who's got the final touch, but Bromby lead regardless. Williams is what in. What a ball that was. Just about keeps it in play as well, Williams. Yes. Velasquez. Oh. Save to the near post, but that's better from City. Great ball. Wonderful distribution. Williams does well to keep this alive, the right back. And then Sebastian Velasquez was there to support him, the Colombian. This good has it again. Via comes deep. Oh, this is nice football. Grab a boy. Spins out to Villa, what can he spot ahead of him? To see of yellow and blue shirts. He'll get a free kick. Wonderful running from David Villa. Class play. Class. Great skill. So Villa seems to have the intent in his eyes. It is David Villa, can't keep it down. Decided to get the goalkeeper's side rather than over the wall. But that was an opportunity. So you can see there's a, a bit of a team talk here going on. Jason Kreis in the middle of that huddle with the New York City players who are about to come on. And uh, I'm sure they're thinking about performance and fitness, but they'd love to end leaving them with a victory. Managed to work it out towards the edge of their own penalty area here, Bromby. They've kept much the same team. The objective for them slightly different, perhaps, in a mid-season friendly. They're just trying to keep their, their main starting eleven fit ahead of the new season, I imagine. Yeah, have they had a break? Yeah, they've, they've been off uh, mid-season, I think it's a couple of months in Denmark. Or well, they might be in here, though. Hassani, 2-0, oh, yeah. he's onside. And Bromby have scored again. Just cut open by a lovely bit of incisive play. And Hassani gets himself on the score sheet. Yes. Poku. What a ball out Great to... Ball. Great ball. The man Patrick Mullins here. He did actually start the last game against the Mirren. Cross is good oh, as well. Cross. Taylor's there. And it looks like Bromby will get away with this one. Still alive here with Poku. Matt Dunn being encouraged to shoot. Comes to nothing. Great move there. Unfortunately not to end with a goal, but uh, some really good quality play. Well, I love this pass from Poku to Class. spray it wide, and it's brought down brilliantly by Patrick Mullins. It's a great the cross striker. Too. Yeah, that's a really Fantastic good ball. Cross. 
Just a little behind Taylor, I think, unfortunately. And we're also going to get a look at Riza Demisi, who I've been reading about the past few days, Danish under 21 international. He's a, not a, pl a player short of confidence. Oh, he's in. Oh, here's Poku through the middle. Oh. Goalkeeper's read that well. And Poku was onto that in a flash, but the goalkeeper actually read it well in fairness. Yeah, it's an exciting prospect for players, management, coaches, fans, everybody connected to the club. It's, uh, I'm excited and I'm, I'm in England. Well, I'm sure many Manchester City fans, because um, you can pick up the MLS uh, over here, I'm sure many will be over the summer with, M with Manchester City not in action, will be following how they get on. And we've had the two additional minutes. It's a uh, first defeat uh, for New York City FC. Jason Christ sees his players make their way off the pitch and now they, uh, they'll they head back uh, to the United States after a very enjoyable time from Man in Manchester, I'm sure. I think that today's game, you look at the scoreline and you're a little disappointed. Um, certainly, I'm a human being, I, I understand this. Um, but for me, it was a very similar performance to the first game. Um, there's still a lot of positives to be drawn and there's a lot of negatives to be drawn. Uh, and so we have to just continue to, to move forward and try to improve to correct our mistakes and there was there was a few uh, but there was also some positive things and just try to improve on those positive things as well yeah I thought it was a good game I thought it was a good test for us um, you know it was their last game of uh, preseason before they start their season so um, it was a good test against a good team you know that possessed the ball similar to us um, and I think we learned a lot from this game um, individually and collectively as a group so you know we're going to move on from it and you know I think it was a good it was a benefit for us because it's going to help us in the long run. Uh, the positives are that I still think we created quite a few goal scoring opportunities and with a little bit more sharpness in and around the box I think we walk out of here with a goal or two in our pockets so you know can we take those positive moments and just fine-tune them a little bit to to end up with some goals uh, and also I think a big positive is, is now to to see the group how it deals with some negativity because uh, this is our first bit of it it's our first, uh, our first loss in preseason, uh, and it's our first opportunity to, to get the group together and see whether or not we can respond in a positive way or a negative way. This is one of those things where you see the little things where you get punished, you know, times where we're too long on the ball and we're not getting out of spots fast enough. Um, so yeah, definitely, um, including myself. You know, there's things that I learned a lot from this game as well. Uh, but as a group, I think we'll look at the game, sit down, watch it, and we'll uh, improve from it.